Hey beautiful Virgo, welcome into the gifted time. I hope you're doing oh so well. If the audio is a bit low for you, I do apologize. Turn that volume up, baby. Okay. If you're new to the channel, a very warm welcome. Shouts out to my returning subs. This is going to be a general love reading. I'm also a Virgo. It may or may not resonate with you. If you find something does, please go ahead and smash the thumbs button. Please bear in mind, you can also book me for a personal reading. The WhatsApp is still down. I hope to sort that out by the end of the month, but you can get in touch with me via, via Instagram, email thegiftedham at gmail.com. Let's get into this. Who is currently thinking about Virgo? The full card. Who's currently thinking about Virgo? Queen of Pentacles. Who's currently thinking about Virgo? The Eight of Pentacles. So it could be somebody new that is thinking about you with the full card here. It could also be an Aquarius. It doesn't have to be an Aquarius. It could be a Libra, a Gemini. It could be any sign. There could be an age gap. There could be some sort of childish energy. Whoever is that's thinking about you, they could be kind of in an energy where they're, they like fun, very adventurous energy. It's also very optimistic energy. It's almost like um, taking a risk, taking a leap of faith with regards to you, whoever it is that's thinking about you. There's definitely somebody here thinking about you, okay? Thinking about your character, kind, caring, nurturing. Now, the Eight of Pentacles signifies hard work, learning something. This could be that somebody new is learning something about you. This could be you kind of like putting your head down, working, grinding, um and, and staying focused right and, and perhaps this person sees that they see that you're a hard worker you are the type of person that has a good work ethic you know you've got goals you've got aspirations you're ambitious and you keep it moving you know we'll clarify these energies let's move on to who is it that wants Virgo whoever is that wants you somebody walked away from somebody here you could have walked away from this person they could have walked away from you Cancer Pisces Scorpio for some of you guys okay there could be some distance between you and your person the hanging man could be like things are on pause nothing's really happening things have come to a standstill this hanging man could be a pisces in your life okay the month of march may have some sort of significance the hanging man gives me energy of say lovey you know if we're meant to be together it will happen if we're not meant to be together then it's gonna happen as well you know, the hangman is all about reflecting, you know, perhaps you're reflecting on your love life, where you are right now, past relationships. What can you learn from that? What is the message there? One more card. Who is it that wants Virgo? One more card. Who wants Virgo? The Wheel of Fortune, a fated connection. It could be a Sagittarius. Whoever wants you, there may be some sort of shift with regards to the ending of this year. But the Wheel of Fortune is all about destiny. It's about lessons, okay? Whoever is that wants you, perhaps you walked away from them, Virgo, and now they are starting to learn the lessons, okay? Things have changed between you guys for whatever reason, you know? Um, who truly loves Virgo? Who truly loves Virgo? Who truly loves Virgo? Three of Wands. Somebody that may be at a distance from you. Whoever it is that truly loves you. I love when our cards come out because that signifies someone truly loves you, Virgo. Someone really does truly love you. Okay. And there's somebody here that is thinking about the potentials of a future here. There is also somebody here that's wondering what it is that you're up to. Whoever it is that truly loves you, I feel like somebody is missing somebody here with the Nine of Swords. They could be dreaming about you, kind of anxious, wondering what it is that you're up to. But again, these energies can shift. At Towards the end of the reading, I'm going to see what's coming towards you in love. But yeah, these energies can shift once I start to clarify. I feel like there's been a lot of lessons around love for you, Virgo, and for your connections or connection. Right, tell me more about this full card. The person that's thinking about Virgo, tell me more about this full card. The, the magician card, which signifies Virgo energy, also signifies Gemini energy, okay? 
Um, we also have the lovers card here. So for some of you guys, it's definitely a Gemini that is thinking about you and this connection. Give me one more card. Why is the full card here? page of pentacles so clearly somebody here is is or has been manifesting you this is somebody that perhaps is very good at what they do they could be a very skilled individual they could have some sort of particular talent i'm picking up on wise energy here i'm picking up on someone having to make a choice or made a choice now the page of pentacles is about opportunity there is potential here to plant seeds for growth so maybe this is your energy and you took a risk on somebody that you saw potential in. Or this could be somebody that sees potential in you and this connection. I am, again, getting very strong Gemini energy with regards to the person that's thinking about you. Moving on to the person that wants Virgo. Why is the Eight of Cups here? Let's see if we can... Eight of Cups. Somebody walked away because... You perhaps wasn't seeing eye to eye with the five of ones there, not getting on, disagreements. Um, the energy could have been just, I don't know, a bit something not quite right. Why is the eight of cups here? Uh, the justice card, Libra energy. This is all about fairness, equality, standing your ground, speaking your truth, Virgo. Okay. Why is the Eight of Cups here? Four of Pentacles. So I get this detachment. I get an energy, Virgo, of you realising, or at least saying to yourself, you know, I want stability. Something doesn't feel quite right in this connection, you know? There was honesty, like you being honest with yourself. Something isn't quite right, so I'm going to walk away. This could be your person's energy. Let's talk about, with regard to the person that truly loves Virgo, why is the three of wands here? Why is the three of wands here? Somebody wondering what you're up to, the three of wands. When are you coming to visit them? The ace of wands. Why is the three of wands here? For the person that loves Virgo, why is the ace of... <clears throat> why is the ace of wands here? nine of wands why is the no i'm going to sorry put the nine why is the three of wands here eight of cups why is the three of wands here three of cups eight of cups so there's somebody wondering here like, I feel like a lot of you guys are definitely in that energy of wanting to just try and enjoy life, okay? Spending it with your friends, your family, the people that you care about, okay? Um, I do see passion here between two people. It could be a friendship that develops into something more. And I think the best of connections start off as a friendship basis, you know, and, and, and grows from there. So <clears throat> I feel like a lot of you guys are in that mindset, you know, of really trying to stay optimistic, trying to live life to the fullest. Why is the Nine of Swords here? Why is the Nine of Swords here? The Empress cards. There is an unconditional love here, you know, Virgo. Six of Wands. Why is the... Okay, so this is a clear message, I think, for a lot of you, Virgo, especially those of you that kind of get into your mind. You know, us Virgos can overthink. What I see here is a very much um, energy. The message is telling me that you guys are trying to put yourself first. You know, um, I don't need any fans. I'm going to be my biggest fan. I'm going to be my biggest supporter. I'm going to put myself first. I'm going to shine my bright lightly, my light brightly. I am going to heal. I'm going to take every day as it comes, step by step, and work through what I need to work through. I'm going to love me. If no one else is going to love me, that's fine. I'm going to love me. And if you're not doing that, Virgo, that is your message. That is your sign. That's what you need to do. What's coming towards Virgos in love? What is coming towards Virgos in love? 
Ten of Pentacles, prosperity, happiness, commitment, a windfall. What is coming towards Virgos in love? What is coming towards Virgos in love? <clears throat> Seven of Pentacles. So I see a lot of you guys just waiting for your hard work to pay off. And it seems that it's going to come your way with the sun card there. You know, and the world card on the bottom of the deck. Excuse me. I see things turning around for you, Virgo, for the better. Your patience is going to pay off. Your hard work is going to pay off. The sun card signifies happiness, confidence. I love the sun card. Why, why wouldn't you love the sun card? The sun card is Leo energy, okay? Some of you guys could be, have been dealing with a um a leo but yeah it's the yes card it's about positivity love manifesting your dreams it's about your inner beauty it's about you feeling inspired choosing to be happy choosing to feel whole understanding that you are more than enough and shining like the sun okay and that's where i'm gonna leave it virgo please you smash the thumbs button if you find that it resonates with you in any way i freaking love you guys thank you for the continued support happy motivational monday and have a bombastic week ahead from one virgo to another be kind to others as you always are but most importantly be kind to you and the gifted will catch you on the rebound Mwah.